wonder if you'd like to talk a little bit about when the whole family moved here, Ben. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it seems like such a long time ago, but actually it was a long time ago. And we moved in here in the middle of winter. It was it was October. No, it wasn't October. It was it was January thirty first of nineteen sixty three. neighbors and um, we were all young families with the exception of one uh, older couple down the street and there must have been 20, 20 of you kids and mostly boys so uh, before you know it the street was full of the kids and they were playing outside and Across the street from us, we had complete woods. And these woods they turned out to be such a wonderful, wonderful playground for the kids. And the most important thing was we were not afraid to let the kids go. Uh, things were not at a, at a point where you would be afraid to let the children out of your sight. So the boys would go in the woods and they would fool around and they'd take their bikes and, and uh, uh, build mounds of dirt and stuff and the higher they could build it then the bigger wheelie they could make and, and I, what I mean by that is they used to make a path and get on their bikes and run like mad and hit this hill and see how far they would get off. They had everything in the world to, to climb trees, to um, go down and look at the stream. And I have to tell you about this stream. I didn't know it was there, or we may have never moved to Harrington Park. Once I found out there was a stream, I had to tell the kids, you can't not go to the stream. Did they try and swim? No. No, they didn't, not, not in front of me anyway. <laughs> squirrels and we also had raccoons and that's all we had and then something strange started to happen years and years ago we saw our first deer now I'm thinking to myself what's happening here what are the, what are the deers doing well what was happening was they were building houses and houses and houses and displacing the deer And the strange thing about the whole thing is I look across there now or I, I look out the front window and there's no one around. Whereas years ago, you couldn't look out the window without seeing ball playing or, or bicycle riding or the, the kids up and down the street all the time. They were 
always, always somebody outside. Now, deserted. We do have a few children in the neighborhood, but they don't come out to play. trying to say to you is things have changed. I can't say whether they've changed for the good or the bad, but they have changed. And now the woods are for the deer and the children, I think, are losing out on their playground because that was a wonderful, wonderful place for them to play, to learn to look at, at certain bushes and certain trees and or bring, bring home a shiny stone. And my son Steve even brought home a, a white porcelain bird. Didn't have a chip in it. And of course we treasured that and uh, still have it. So somebody didn't like it, but I liked it. So it's still here.